welcome to Jam with Dr. Terry, where Jam stands for Jesus and me. I'm Dr. Terry, children's pastor for Faithful Central Bible Church. Children, have you ever had something to go wrong in your life that made you wonder why it was happening to you? Maybe it rained when you were supposed to go to the amusement park, or your best friend or family member got really sick and you weren't sure if they would get better. Maybe someone was mean to you or treated you badly for no reason. The truth is we all go through things in life that we may think are simply not fair. So how do we handle those situations? In today's lesson in our new series, Unspeakable Joy, Paul teaches us about how to still have joy in bad times. Last week, we started reading Paul's letter to his friends in the Philippian church in Philippians chapter one. Remember, Paul was in jail, even though he had done nothing wrong. He was in jail because some people wanted him to stop telling everyone about Jesus but he wouldn't. Throughout Paul's letter, he keeps talking about grace and peace and joy. It's hard to imagine someone having all that joy while they're sitting in a jail cell. Paul must have seen things differently than most people see them. He saw things like God saw them. Paul knew that God had a bigger plan. Paul saw God's love and the importance of telling everyone about God. Paul could have hung his head and said, this isn't fair. I'm just trying to do the right thing and look what happened to me. But Paul's reaction was just the opposite. In Philippians chapter one, verses 19 through 21, Paul said, I'm glad because I know that this will result in my release through your prayers and the help of the Holy Spirit of Jesus. It is my expectation and hope that I won't be put to shame in anything. Rather, I hope with courage that Christ's greatness will be seen in my body now and always, whether I live or die. Because for me, living serves Christ and dying, it's even better. The truth is that the trouble Paul was going through, it really wasn't fair. God had a bigger plan though, and God's plans are always better than ours. Even though Paul was in jail, he saw light spreading in the dark places because of the good news of Jesus. So what do we do when trouble comes our way? First, we should look at our own lives and see if we have caused that trouble on our own because of our own sin. Was it something that we did? If so, we should confess it to God and ask him to forgive us. Second, if the trouble isn't because of something that we did, don't focus on the trouble at all, but focus on what God might be up to. He may have a special plan that we just don't understand yet. So in the meantime, we can pray and praise God for what he's working out for us, even if we don't fully understand. Trust God, trust that he knows what he's doing in our lives, because he does. Children, thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I'm Dr. Terry, and I'll see you next time.